Okay, before you upgrade to Final Cut Pro 10.3, you'll need to be on at least El Capitan or Sierra. The rest of the requirements are the same as for 10.2.3, so if you're already using 10.2.3, you're all set with the exception that if you're still in Yosemite, you need to upgrade. So if your system's ready, the first thing you want to do is go to System Preferences, select the App Store, and make sure that Install App Updates is not checked, like it's not checked here. If you have that checked, Final Cut Pro 10.3 will automatically update your existing version and get rid of it before you've had a chance to archive it. So make sure this is not checked. It should never be checked. Next, you want to archive your existing copy of Final Cut Pro. Here I am in the Applications folder on my boot drive. I'll press Command-I to get info. We see it's version 10.2.3. I'm going to Control or right-click and choose Compress. Once it's done, I'll add 10.2.3 to the name and stick it in this folder, Final Cut Pro 10 Older Versions. That way, for any reason, if I want to go back, I can do it. The next step is to back up any libraries that I want to upgrade. So if I do want to go back, the library will be available and the application will be available. Some libraries are small enough that it's easy to simply copy them to another drive. You can see here I have some libraries that are on my boot drive in the default location for Final Cut Pro libraries. Many of these have the media located outside the library itself, which makes them easy to copy. However, here I have some libraries on a separate volume, and some of these are very, very large. So duplicating these libraries could take a long time and take a lot of space. What I recommend you do if you have managed libraries that contain a lot of media is that you open them up in 10.2.3 and you consolidate the media outside the library. All you need to do is set a new target for the media in a library inspector and then consolidate. If you consolidate the media on the same drive that the library is currently located, this process will go very fast and will not take any additional space because all you're doing is moving the media from inside the library to outside the library on the same drive. Fast and easy. However, for some reason, if you don't want to do that, for instance, you may have media spread across multiple drives and you may have organized it into multiple folders and you don't want to lose that organization, an alternative method for dealing with this is to go to your backups. So here's my default Final Cut Backups folder in my Movers folder on my root drive. And while this library here it's 123 gigs, the backup is only 57 megabytes. So instead of copying the library, I could copy this backup copy the library. Before you do that, however, I recommend that you open this backup and make sure everything looks correct and it's the most recent version you have. And then you can be comfortable just copying this and using it as your backup. So once you've done those steps, make sure you're on El Capitan or Sierra, turned off auto upgrading, archived your current Final Cut Pro 10.2.3 application and backed up any libraries you plan to upgrade, feel free to go to the App Store and get Final Cut Pro 10.3. When you go to open a 10.2.3 or earlier library in Final Cut Pro 10.3, you'll be presented with this dialog that states that the library must be upgraded and therefore after you upgrade, you will no longer be able to open it with earlier versions. That's okay because you made a backup. The dialog also states that updating may change your audio edits and role assignments, and as a result, there could be audible differences in your project. These potential changes, if they affect anything, can occur in cases where you have unique subroll assignments and or effects applied to components, both on simple clips and on container clips, synchronized clips, compound clips, and multicam clips. To understand more about how audio roles and audio effects are handled in 10.3, you can purchase our in-depth tutorial that covers these new features in much more detail.